Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh Good afternoon to each and everyone who are watching this video presentation in relation with the subject uh, criminal justice system so this is the first part for our midterm coverage which uh, comprises starting other events related to Philippine policing so ano nga ba yung evolution ano nga bang meron tayo sa Philippine policing paano na nagiging parte Papano ang ginagampan ng trabaho ng uh, law enforcement bodies or law in, uh, police sa Philippine criminal justice system. So first, uh, the definition of terms, uh, definition rather. So when the American military commander of the Philippines, upon instruction from the pre President of the United States of America on July 4, 1901, turned over the government to civilian authorities. So that's the time that Uh, nagkaroon tayo ng sarili nating independence sarili nating pamamalakat the Philippine American War had not yet ended to meet this situation the governor general ordered the formation of an insular police force meaning national police force so nagcreate ang insular police force I IPF so on August 8, 1901 by virtue of act 175 Philippine Commission under Captain Henry T. Allen So siya yung kaunaunahang uh, uh, humawak na insular police force uh, under kay Captain Henry T. Allen by virtue of Act 175 uh, on August 8, 1901 So initially uh, there are 74 American officers were appointed to man by By, to man. So, meron tayong ilan lahat? So, meron tayong 74 American officers na kasapi doon sa Insular Police Force. By, this, by 31 of December 1901, the number grew to 180. So, naging 180 na ito to reinforce the American officers para matulungan sila dahil sa kanilang uh, numbers, Filipinos deliberately selected from various ethnic groups organized as scouts. So, na mayroon na tayong scout na term kung saan silang naging first na mga kasapi ng Insular Police Force. In 1905, a three-month course was offered at Santa Lucia Barracks and Intramuros for Filipino recruits to be, to be trained as officers in the Insular Police Force. So, dyan na nagsimula. So, unang-una ha, unang-una ang sa kanila. They are scouts. Noong 1905, existed ang 3-month course na in-offered sa Santa Lucia Barak sa Intramuros. So remember that one. In 1917, the revised administrative code changed the name of the Insular Police Force while external security was provided by the United States government. So yun, pinalitan ang revised administrative code ng Insular Police Force. Okay? From this period up to martial law, okay, Noong sa panahon na yun, hanggang sa dumating ang martial Philippine Constabulary undergoes several reforms. So dyan na, nagsimula ang ating Philippine Constabulary, sinasabi natin PC. Undergoes several reforms. So meron siyang iba't ibang uh, innovation, reforms, na mga uh, inaayos sa pamamalakan. But the most noted is that the Philippine Constabulary by virtue of integration which effected on August 8, 1975, become the nucleus of the INP. So sila yung uh, pinakadulo ng INP, Integrity National Police. The Philippine Constabulary for one seeks to enforce the law and maintain peace and order, perform home defense responsibilities in rare areas in time of emergencies and perform such other functions as may be directed by the competent authorities. So dyan, nagsisi, nagdyan, dito na, pinag-usapan natin dito is kung paano nabuo ang ating Philippine National Police. So take note na meron tayong Philippine Constabulary, naging INP. So hanggang sa, umabot na tayo sa PNP. So, on the other hand, the PNP, so ngayon, PNP nang tawag, Police, Fire, and Jail Services Tribes 2. So, ito ang mga trabaho ng PNP. Okay. Uh, protect lives and property, enforce law and maintain peace and order, prevent crimes, effect the arrest of criminal offenders, and provide for their detention. So, doon sa protect lives and property. So, we are going to ensure that all lives and property be Uh, protected against uh, oppression, uh, deprivation, 
and so on and so forth. Enforcement of law and maintenance, peace and order because kinakailangan nating magkaroon ng isang payapa at maayos na komunidad. Prevent crimes, so the occurrences of crimes, kinakailangan natin ma-prevent yan na yun walang mangyari. So, pamamagitan ng police omnipresence or police visibility. Effect the arrest of criminals, so all those who are criminally liable, for example, mayroong warrant of arrest or yung uh, to the uh, presence commission of the crime na nakita natin, so we must uh, effect the arrest of criminal offenders. Okay. Number five is investigate the commission of all crimes and offenses. So, trabaho ito ng, sa criminal investigation. So, yan. Bring offenders to justice. Oh, of course. Kung anong ginawa ng isang tao, so kailangan niyang panagutan sa batas. Take measures to prevent and control fires. So, dyan. Nandiyan dyan sa fire. Take all necessary steps to ensure public safety. Of course. So, the police as first pillar of the criminal justice system. Always remember this one. The police being the first major components in the operation of the criminal justice system are responsible for accomplishing the following functions. Because, dahil ang police ay siya yung kauna-unahang first line of defense. For example, pag mayroong nangyaring krimen, sila yung first na responder. Sila yung titingin. Sila yung mag-aayos. Letter A is prevention of crimes. So, yan ang mga functions. O, sabi natin kanina, enforcement of laws, decrees and ordinances. So, ang police are uh, person in authorities. Sila yung binigay ng batas na mag-implement. Uh, so, protection of life and property from criminal attack. Okay, preservation of peace and order, safeguarding of the rights of other. So, yan yung sa, uh, sa human rights. The role of police in criminal justice system. So, ano ang role ng ating uh, polisiya, police, sa criminal justice system. Basically, so ito yung pinaka, ano natin, alam naman natin to. The role of police in, in a community is crime prevention, of course. Dahil community, community service, uh, crime prevention. From the time na nandyan kami, makikita kami so, nag-prevent kami ng crime. Because, uh, matatakot yung criminal, if not, uh, magkakaroon siya ng alilangan na gumawa ng isang krimen, di ba? As the most visible components of government authority. Because sila yung parating nakikita, makikita sa mga uh, communities, sa mga municipalities, and even sa mga lugar kung saan meron silang mga post. The presence of uniformed policemen constantly patrolling the neighborhood. So yun, nakakandang ng patrolling, di ba? The neighborhood gives a psychological feeling of security. So, from the start, from the time na nakikita ng civilian na mayroong present, presensya, ang police, so nagkakaroon sila ng feeling of being secure. Dahil uh, nakikita nila ang police. To the law-abiding citizen, but the feeling of fear to the world be violator. So, natatakotan sila ng mga uh, criminal o yung mga future criminal. Simply, peacekeeping is the ultimate goal of law enforcement. So, yan yung pinaka uh, adhikain natin na magkaroon tayo ng kapayapaan sa lahat ng lugar. So, the policeman in the performance of his multifarious task multifarious, multifarious task is responsible for bringing all law violators in court. Of course, because the investigation, the investigator will provide evidences on the uh, offender or the perpetrator. But while doing so, he is compelled to observe their constitutional rights. So, hindi naman dahil kriminal ang isang tao, so, until proven guilty, hindi mo ba masasabi na kriminal yan, so, they are merely suspect. So, you are, they are entitled to their constitutional rights. Hindi mo ba pwedeng saktan o ano pa man dyan. Murahin, eh, degrade, di ba? Thus, it can be observed that the police initiate, o when you say initiate, eh, sa kanila nagsimula, nagsimula, the criminal justice process by the arrest of the law violator. From the time na, na nahuli natin yan, so the criminal justice system process. process. Okay. Uh, the criminal justice system uh, start uh, or to begin. Di ba? The police is the prime mover. When we say the prime mover, oh, tingnan natin na yung definition. Kapag sinabi natin initiate, makita niya tanong is police. Prime mover is police pa rin. Uh, that without the police, the system is at standstill. O, oh, o oh nga naman. Dahil sinong uhuli, di ba? So, wala ang halaga ang mga korte. So, the exercise of police discretion. So, meron tayong tinasabi police discretion. 
Mayroon din namang ibinibigay sa ating kapulisan na discretional, discretionary power. Yung initiative ba nila? Yung conceptually, discretion is the wise use of one's judgment, personal experience, and common sense to decide a particular situation. So, given that, uh, it depends on the situation. Diba? So, hindi naman dahil halimbawa, may constitutional rights, may mga rights yung ano. So, if in case na nasa bingit ng kamatay ng polis, so, they have the discretionary power to to judge kung anong gagawin nila, di ba? Aside from the wise use of discretion, the police are further trained on self-discipline and self-reliance. So, uh, kinakailangan may initiative ang polis. Hindi po porke sinabi ng batas na bawal pumatay, eh, hindi ka na ano. So, uh, still, kung kinakailangan mong tamaan, ma-injure yung biktima para ma- tawag dito, mahindir mo siya from the commission of the crime, so gagawin mo. Huwag mo lang siyang patayin, di ba? The police, specifically policemen on the beat, works alone. He has no one to rely upon when controlling a past and situation. Hence, he must be a decision maker. Of course, so they must be decisive. Not decisive. Uh, they must have their own uh, decision, decision, uh, decision maker. So, in this, in be, uh, becoming a decision maker, so you are going to observe what must be the possible way na gagawin mo. Diba? Initiative mo na yan. Kasi baka mamaya yung sarili mo ang malagay sa pa, uh, panganib o kaya yung ating komunidad. So, number one, law enforcement pillar installed at the forefront of the criminal justice system being the initiator of the criminal justice process. The police or law enforcement pillar is made up to mainly the Philippine National Police, National Bureau of Investigation, and the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency. So, diyan ang kasapi. Why? Because National uh, NBI, uh, those uh, are, uh, as the office or the of, the uh, the people concerned are merely on investigation. Philippine Drug Enforcement is doon sa ating drugs. Drug. The main function of the police are, ito na naman. Paulit-ulit tayo. Number one, letter A is law enforcement. Okay, pagpapatupad ng batas. Order, maintenance, kaayusan, control of crime. Yung uh, wala mangyaring criminal, krimin. And safeguarding of lives and properties, so secure, feeling of secure, investigation, detection of crimes, so alamin natin kung sinong gumawa po na tulong ng isang krimen, krimen. Arrest and apprehension of suspects, okay na kailangan hulihin. Helps in the prosecution of criminals, so tutulong tayo para sila ay madiin, so we must provide evidences. Keep peace and ensuring public safety, of course. 